right so i got my first wholesale order <laughs> now i have it packed up you know how you do like those pack with me's or pack this order i realized that we had already got it packed up it was a lot of pressure but let me show it to you anyway because i got to document this so she ordered eight rose water and chamomile eight lemon butter eight stress-free sandalwood and sage eight oat melon honey and then i packed a ton of samples i felt like that was smart to give her so we're about to go deliver it now i want to end up buying like the big plastic bag thing so for right now put each bag in one of my order bags and we are hitting the road to go deliver it this is also giving me the confidence to reach out to other um small businesses uh salons this particular one is a restaurant that has like um uh, a store in it so i want to do more of those michaela's coming ariana's coming i'm ready i'm excited yes so talk to you soon all right so we just delivered our soaps to um a station on kings in laurel no lewis delaware this is the garden I like the succulents. The succulents? Yes. Oh, no, I love this. Of course you do. This is wonderful. Yes, I'm super excited. We got some good baked goods while we were here. So I'm super excited because I dropped off the soaps. Um, she was very happy with the order um, and very excited. So uh, I dropped them off and I got my first check. I got my first wholesale check. It feels so this good. This is my highest order for my um, nine ounce bars. And I'm really excited. Super excited. Thank you guys. So after delivering the soaps to um, the, the first lady, um, not <laughs> the first lady, but the first um, small business person, um, I had this dream. I had woke up from this dream one day and God had gave me the name of this local hair salon that's near me. So I was so afraid to do it that I didn't go. But today I said, you know what? After I get back from delivering these soaps, I'm going to... I hope you can hear me. It's look, look at the people. <laughs> so after... Oh gosh. So after... So, oh gosh. Hold on. I'm going to try this again. I'll be right back. Right. Take two. God had given me a... Hi. All right. Attempt number three. So basically, I had a dream and God had given me the name of this local hair salon. And I did not go because I was afraid. But after I successfully made my first wholesale sale... I decided that I'm not going to allow fear to hold me back. So I went to the salon. Now, first thing was I didn't have any soap. And I was like, oh, is that going to be a problem? Which I didn't plan to bring soap. But I just really wanted to just rip the bandaid off and be obedient. So I went inside. I felt like I was fumbling over my words. I was like, I my name, I ain't going to sell soap. And then I asked for the... First I called and then I asked for the owner. Hold on. All right. So I asked, I called first and I asked for the owner, but the lady said that the owner wasn't going to be available for 15 minutes. So I sat in the parking lot and I was like, ooh, do I, you know, do I um, wait? Do I go in? I don't know. So I just prayed and then I went around the block and then I went in. And as soon as I walked in, she was walking up to the counter and I was like, hi. I hurried up and I looked up her um her name on her website and so she was like that's me and so after that i had explained that i was a soap maker and i was really trying to get my soaps into retail now saying it to you sounds good but i want to tell you i was fumbling and bumbling it was bad so she was like oh no i'm down with that i'm cool with that so i scheduled a meeting to come back to her on wednesday so today is thank you <laughs> today thank you today is Thank you. Today is um, Monday. So tomorrow, which is Tuesday, I will be vending. And then I'm going to bring her some soaps. And I'm going to update you with the process. I'm so excited about this.